James Comey, who is now looking for work. We are, guys. We probably should be talking about what these guys are doing for Mother's Day. We're at the Tasty Diner. It's been here for over 80 years, and it is truly the uh, center of community uh, in this area. Uh, Pat Flaherty. Yes. Uh, Pat, first, uh, what do you do? I, I, I read the newspaper. I sit around a lot. I look at the fireplace and uh, take a little naps, two or three pounds. You believe, you believe all the news you read? Not at all. Pat is uh, modest. He's telling me here that he's 25 years uh, working at the VA. Well, close to that, yeah. 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 Let me ask you, I want to ask you about the fallout from the firing of FBI Director James Comey. But first, for someone, uh, and you've been coming here for four generations, your family, and you've worked uh, in federal government for uh, 25 years, what do you make of what's happening in the country right now in President Trump's leadership? Well, <clears throat> I think right now, there's a, there's a side to this thing. I think we can see the population is now tuning into the politics on a national score. You know, several months ago, nobody cared. I think people are starting to care now and realize that we've got some pretty weak promises made by somebody who doesn't understand this. We're not in the golf business and we're not building buildings. Well, there, he is my, he's working for me now, okay? And this is the big difference. And we don't have pots of gold we can do and, and go through and those kind of things. So, so, let me ask you, Pat, what do you think the biggest problem this country's facing right now? In the Trump faces right now? The whole country. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, I suppose it's probably confusion because we don't have any leadership. We don't have any programs that you and I can discuss. Uh, and we go through the pros and cons and, so, and that type of thing. So bottom line, Pat, what do you make of the firing? Thumbs up or thumbs down on that decision? Well, I think it should have been done much earlier. Uh, uh, I think, but I think I'm gonna be too Machiavellian about it. Why does it take such a long time for these guys to arrive at this conclusion? Is it because we're getting too tight, getting finding out too much information about the food? Is that well, thank you. We're getting tight on time. I just want to tell you, too, we're going to be talking to folks here. Uh, Steve Kressner, uh, uh, he's actually.